I'm Phoenix Wright, and I'm the lawyer in the twistiest case ever, and that's saying something considering all my other cases. Hold it! An inconvenience? An inconvenient truth? Ugh. I was stopped by global warming. There was a woman with a camera at the ready loitering in the hallway. I'm willing to bet my spikes it was Lotta. <laughs> I I hope it's not. Get rid of him. <laughs> Bald. There was also a woman with a ray gun at the ready, pacing back and forth. <laughs> <laughs> Off not security. That's Ms. I'm Old being... Bag for you. <laughs> she didn't stop the murder from happening. <laughs> Top-notch security. I had already been caught and made into a big scoop for a certain weekly tabloid once, so I couldn't very well go out looking like myself and get caught again. You know that meme that's like the length of something and the length of something if Blank had a gun? Yeah. What if Old Bag had a gun? The length of she the does. case would be so much more, I think, because Old Bag would oh, be or randomly threatening people. <laughs> but she might also just like shoot. <laughs> <That's> <laughs> true. Judge. She probably wouldn't actually kill someone, but. Hold it! You were the one who prepared that costume, weren't you? Yes, I took it from Global Studios. I also put it into Juan's guitar case the day before the award ceremony. You did this in preparation for the press conference, correct? Yes, Juan wanted to wear that costume and hold a press conference in it. He was going to disclose Matt's big secret there. And what is this secret? Hmm. That I don't know. Anyway, I thought that if I were to leave Juan's room in the Nickel Samurai costume, She's a weak man, I guess. Yep. Then people would think that Matt was the real murderer. I was very careful not to leave any fingerprints when I opened the guitar case. I absolutely did not want anyone to know about the costume. Well... Here we all are. I think we've heard enough. So, after that, you went to Mr. On Guard's room and planted the button? Kazoo nibble. Sorry. <laughs> Into Matt's Hakama? Yes. After that, I folded up the costume I was wearing and put it into a bag. Then I snuck it out of the hotel and got rid of it. How? My word. So what does all this mean? <laughs> Mr. Edgeworth, is it? The real criminal is Matt Ongard. Yesterday, that woman prosecutor sat me down for a talk. Okay, she doesn't know Francisca's name either. <laughs> Francisca, huh? For the audience. She said that I should, under no circumstances, confess to what I had done. That if I just kept quiet, then Matt would be found guilty for sure. I... I had no choice but to believe in her words. Hmm. Well... What this witness has done is clearly unlawful. However... I'll allow it. <laughs> as a treat. I mean, <laughs> as long as her testimony stands, we can be certain she is not the real killer. Hey. Well, wait, your honor. The defense still... Objection. Right. <laughs> hmm. Shut up. <laughs> it's pointless. At this point in time, it is not possible to indict Ms. Andrews on anything. Yes, exactly. There isn't a single piece of evidence that points to her as the murderer. Unless she was lying about <laughs> all of that, but like, <laughs> sure. People don't lie when they're witnesses, Amy. 
Right. I forgot the last year and a half. That would be that would be called perjury, and it's. A... <laughs> I think you should read this little book called uh, Pio's Guide to Perjury. <laughs> and how to get away with it. <laughs> Yes. Cross-examination of this witness is over. And so is today's trial. Uh... Uh... We uh. didn't establish the witness was the culprit. Please let it go, Mr. Wright. But but Mr. Edgeworth, please place Ms. Andrews under arrest for further questioning. I'm you, not the you police! Do that! <laughs> That's fine. That's legal and Understood, fine. Understood, Your Honor. The prosecution will arrange for her detention immediately. <laughs> I don't like that they can do that. <laughs> that is all. Court is adjourned for today. Uh, unadjourn uh, it. Can we, um... Oh. He left! Oh! Oh! Oh, oh the chair. Um. Oh! Oh! Fancy chair. <laughs> uh. Oh no. Oh no. Today's today's trial. It's over. And I didn't yeah. win an acquittal. She's fine. She's fine. She's fine. <laughs> Witness, would you mind if I asked you something? Hmm. Edgeworth. What is it? I'm still on the stand for some reason. <laughs> Before you leave court today, I wondered if I might look at one thing. The card in your hand. It's had my interest for quite some time now. What exactly is it? Oh, this? Mr. Wright also asked about this. Although I didn't remember at the time you asked me about it, Mr. Wright, I remembered just now. I found this in the room uh -huh. on that day. And I just I took it? Me. The room? That day? Mm. Yes. <laughs> 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 well, all right. I found this card when I discovered Juan's body. It was lying there right next to him. You found that card. Next to the victim's body? And you just took it? I suppose I must have unconsciously slipped it into my pocket. Mm-hmm. But it's not as if this card has any relevance to Juan's murder, right? Uh-huh. Yeah, I guess not. But it's still a strange card, if you ask me. <laughs> Bruh. But as far as a clue to this case, I don't see why. Hold it! Witness that card! Give it to me! Hurry! Damn, Edgeworth. Edgeworth? Angie. Do you have any idea what you have stupidly yet inadvertently done? This. I can't believe you hid this from me all this time. She had it in her hand, dude! <laughs> I... I didn't mean to. What is this all about? I've never seen Edgeworth so emotional before. I mean, uh, he's used those same sprites. <laughs> I don't know if that's what you meant, but... That card. What in the world is it? And what does it mean? Hey, Edgeworth, you want to share with the class? The no. Snatches it and runs. <laughs> okay, I guess he doesn't want to share with the class. That's dun, fine. Dun, dun. You hmm. become the Nwede. Yes, that's how you pronounce it. Yes. More investigation, you say? Oh. oh investigation oh, oh, to oh, find oh, Maya's dead yeah, body. Yeah, like, I guess. hey, uh, hey, uh, <laughs> Maya? Hey, hey, Maya? No. Oh, shit, I no. forgot about the her. Mystic Maya! Mystic Maya! Simply, it's been like two or three weeks. 
They're Truly, there for I forgot a reason. That, <laughs> trial. I forgot that Mia wasn't just here. And <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, Pearl. We forgot about you, even though your body was right there, but it kind of wasn't <laughs> your body. For you one blissful second, I forgot that Mia wasn't dead. Or, I forgot that Mia was dead. Fuck. <laughs> I, I can't. Fuck. Fuck. I'm, I'm, I'm upset. I can't take it. <laughs> ah! Fuck! I can't take it anymore. <laughs> Pearl language. Pearl should be allowed to say fuck. Look, it'll be all right. Everything may still work out. I was joking okay. about Edgeworth grabbing the card and running, but like we're back here, so I guess he did. <laughs> hmm? The condition was that we had to get a not guilty verdict. And so far, the kidnapper has kept his word and hasn't hurt Maya. And he won't, because Mr. Ongard hasn't been giving a guilty sentence yet. That's not. <laughs> I don't- what the fuck noises was that supposed to be? <laughs> Cheer up! We don't have time to stand around crying. We have to get going. She's eight. <laughs> You're right. Mystic Maya is in much more pain than I am. Horrible, uh, torturous pain. Yes, that's right. So... <laughs> Phoenix! <laughs> hey, you guys! Glad I caught you, pal! We Why don't know that that's him saying it. Why is that? Fuck you. <laughs> <laughs> are we unsure? <laughs> Mr. Thrusty Detective! That's what pops up in the question box. Oh boy. Yeah. Looks like Detective Gumshoe has been dubbed Mr. Scruffy Detective in Pearls' book now. Good. It's just plain old Mr. Dick Gumshoe now, and I came to talk to you, pal. Oh my god, I oh. forgot he got fired. I certainly god. didn't. It could get a new profession, sir. But we're yeah. kind of busy right now. Did he sprint here? Probably. Probably. He's always chest keeping. <sighs> hey, pal, how's it going? <laughs> So, what are you going to do from now on? What do you mean, Pearl? Well, you've been fired, right? So, do you have a new job lined up yet? It's been a day. Oh, that! Uh, uh, what am I supposed to do now, Pearl? I... I don't have anything coming in at all until my next payday. Wh what are you talking about? You don't have another payday. Well, he might have another. Oh, shit. You might get severance. Oh, no. Or, like, get paid for oh, however much yeah. of pay period he's worked. I guess that means I'm just gonna have to work here at your place, pal. <laughs> I don't think we can pay, pay you? you. We don't even, Say I don't think we even what? pay. Do we even pay Maya? No. No. In burgers, maybe. <laughs> You'll be searching for things that will prove Mr. Ongard's innocence all day, right? Well, yeah. So yeah, I'm gonna help you, pal. Uh, I've got lots of experience in investigating and watching over people's places. And I'm great at making really simple meals, pal. I'll take care of it all. The thing is, Aww. Gumshoe, I don't think we've ever seen you arrest the correct person. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, Mr. Nick! Let's let Mr. Scruffy Detective take care of things! That's Mr. Scruffy Dick Gumshoe. Oh, no! <laughs> Mr. Scruffy Dick. Uh, uh, okay. By the way, what's your best dish? Instant noodles, pal. Well... <laughs> Why am I surrounded by people who only eat cheap, unhealthy foods? Wow. What do you eat, Phoenix? Instant noodles. Uh... <laughs> anyway, please talk to me about Edgeworth. That was the first time I've ever seen Mr. Edgeworth act like that. Never thought he'd say something like he didn't care if Miss Andrews killed herself. Yeah, that was pretty fucked up. He, he said that? That's horrible. 
But because of him doing that, we got the truth, finally. The truth. Oh. Miss Andrew's last testimony. I wonder if that was the truth? I'll give you that there was nothing strange in her testimony itself. But I still think there's something fundamentally wrong with the whole thing. Well, it was a murder, so... You mean about that thing, pal? You know, that thing? You mean about that? Why would she want to... No, I mean, almost need to frame Mr. Ongard. I couldn't figure that out from anything she said all day. Hmm. Then... Then you're saying that testimony was a lie? Not a lie, per se. It just feels like there's more here than meets the eye. Or that's what Edgeworth would like us to believe. That's such a dirty trick! Pearl is gonna punch Edgeworth. <laughs> Good. Even that woman prosecutor was better than that! Someone learn her name! <laughs> Francisca von Karma. He knows. <laughs> he knows it, but he's not saying it out loud to just educate the class. It. Speaking of Ms. Von Karma, do you have any more information on her condition? Yeah, is she good? Wasn't she shot this morning? <laughs> no. Well, we still yeah, asked about Edgeworth first. <laughs> Ms. Von Karma was shot today on the way to the trial by a pistol pal. People don't hurt people, guns hurt people. <laughs> but, but she's gonna be fine, right? I mean, Edgeworth said she was in stable condition, but... Well, she was shot in the shoulder, so she's okay and still hanging in there. S still They should be done taking the bullet out, so she's probably resting at the hospital. Which one? Please let it not be the one where Dr. Hottie is. <laughs> <laughs> I will... What will you do? <laughs> <laughs> what? Are you gonna visit her, pal? Yes. Uh, no. Well, I was kind of yes. thinking about it. Yes. Hey, you've actually got a heart, don't you? Francisca development. She looked like she was being tortured to death not being able to go to the trial today. So maybe it'd be <laughs> good for her if you went and let her whip you for a bit, pal. <laughs> oh, <my laughs> she shot her in the whipping shoulder, but... <laughs> She's ambidextrous with that whip, pal. <laughs> It'll be a little less intense, because it is her non-dominant whip hand, but it's still pretty good. Let's go let her whip us, Mr. Nick. <laughs> 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 now I'm definitely not going. Um, let's see. The name of the hospital. Oh, yeah, the Hottie oh! Clinic. Oh, no! no! Never mind, we're not finishing this case. <laughs> that name sends a chill down my spine. Well, I guess it can't hurt to stop by and say hi. It will physically hurt. You will take it damage. Will definitely it hurt. It will physically hurt me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Well, let's, let's get this over do with. It. Never thought I'd ever come back to this place. Glad that guy no. still has his crutches. Yes, are you here to visit a patient? <laughs> ah, hi. God. Wait a second, you're... <laughs> yes, I'm Director Hardy. <laughs> Why are you still here? <laughs> yes, what is it? <laughs> can I help you? <laughs> you can tell me. <laughs> Don't know who Director this is. Hottie. It might be Francisca. Nope. Oh. <laughs> Edgeworth. Mm, yes, I'm Director Hardy. <laughs> please, please, God, let Edgeworth yell at this guy. Please. Yeah. Oh. You're the man from this morning. <laughs> yeah. What is it? <laughs> Director, Francisca, 
How is Francisca von Karma? Oh, she's dead. <laughs> oh, she's dead. <laughs> you don't need to worry. <laughs> yes, <laughs> she's in good hands. See, I'm worried. She... Because, you see, I'm personally <laughs> taking good care of her. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Mm. Mm, yes, and that thing, that surgery, it what? went well. Why did she go here? She surely has so much money. She could go anywhere. <laughs> Plot this twist, they, like put, so uh, they put Eeny Miney's face on her. <laughs> <laughs> you have my gratitude. It looks like Edgeworth doesn't know about this director and his secret. She looked so pitiful. Absolutely terrified. <laughs> yes. But I understand. <laughs> yes. Her opponent was a gun after all. Uh -huh. <laughs> Definitely not a person or anything. <laughs> And when I snuck up on her real secret, like, she would scream really loud. <laughs> yes. I hate I'm this man. so uncomfortable. I see. I'm going to kill you now. <laughs> <laughs> ah, but she's really cute, too. When I do that, she'd whip me with her whip. <laughs> Remembers okay. that Francisca is him. 18. Yeah. Boy, did I cry like a baby. <laughs> yes. But I think I could get used to it. <laughs> Good. Go back to your room. Damn. Shot in the shoulder, huh? <laughs> you are so mean. Uh, so She's too mean, powerful. my frisky friska. She's just got bandages ah! under her giant puffy sleeves. <laughs> But that's all good. Okay, okay. I, yeah. It's time for my IV drops. Yes. What? Your what? The lozenges. In the shape <laughs> of IVs. He <laughs> drops of IV into his veins, and then he's done. And what are those tulips doing in your hands, Mr. Phoenix Wright? Oh. Oh, he brought flowers! Ag, I knew I shouldn't have come here. Present oh. her the tulips. <laughs> he cares her. I was shot in front of the courthouse, in my right shoulder. Hmm. But it's no big deal. This sort of thing happens all the time. Uh-huh. Uh. I even had full intentions of running the trial this morning. Uh-huh. But... But that would have been too much for you. There's no need to act tough in front of us, you know. <laughs> Regardless, I was dragged here by that man over there. That man? He was so unyielding, one has to wonder if he was simply interested in stealing my case. Oh. It was the only logical course of action, given the bullet was still lodged in your shoulder. I care, you Francisca. <laughs> but by taking over the case, I found myself having to clean up after you and that irresponsible deal you made. Okay. Does it have any room to talk? <laughs> <laughs> I think I know what deal he's referring to. Ms. Von Karma, you made a deal with Ms. Andrews yesterday, didn't you? I don't know what you mean. Bitch, yes you do. <laughs> In order to make sure you got your guilty verdict on Mr. Ongard, you told Ms. Andrews to not testify in court today. Hm. I don't know what you're talking about. Do you have proof that I made such a deal? You're denying it? It looks like you were lucky, Mr. Phoenix Wright. If I had been in court today, this trial would already be over. Unfortunately, true, I think. Because <laughs> yeah. Edgeworth, like, yeah. stopped the trial three times for us. 
all while hiding Ms. Andrews' own crime. That isn't my problem. Whether she'd had tampered with the evidence or not. <laughs> I have only one objective, to find On Guard guilty of murder. The end justifies the means, Mr. Phoenix Wright. The end justifies the means. Yeah, so about that. <laughs> <laughs> that is... Edgeworth has this whole, like, character arc about getting over that, but it would be great if you could just, like, do it immediately. <laughs> <laughs> Ms. Von Karma. Adrian Andrews believed you when you said, If you don't tell the truth of what really happened, then On Guard will be found guilty. And what does that have to do with me? Because I mean, of that, she is it. now in danger of being found guilty herself. All because she believed in your words, until the very end. Hmm. That still has nothing to do with me. She's just a weak person, that's all. She did say anyway. <laughs> but you had to know she was... Ow! I think visiting hours here are about over. So, if you'll excuse me... What's wrong? Why did she suddenly cut you off? Phoenix is still holding his tulips. Oh. <laughs> Probably because she thinks I had the advantage in that argument. Edgeworth. <laughs> still just glaring at me. Angie man. What happened today at the trial, Edgeworth? That was not like you at all. Hmm. I mean, I know you knew about Ms. Andrews' condition. You could have made her testify as many times as you wanted, but to go that far... Ah, but she wouldn't testify about that until I said something. Listen, Wright. The courtroom is a garden of judgment. I've been working on this <laughs> poem. <laughs> I am putting myself on the line when I stand in there. And that's why I made the witness do the same. It's only natural. No? <laughs> By the way, Edgeworth, you were really angry in court today. That's rare for you. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> what? Remember when he crushed a cup of hot, hot coffee? Witness, well, that card, paper. give it to me. Hurry! Do you have any idea what you have stupidly yet inadvertently done? I'm Angie. <laughs> this, I can't believe you hid this from me all this time. No talk me, I'm Angie. <laughs> Constant state of Miles Edgeworth. <laughs> that card, what in the world is it? Hmm. You mean this? No, the other card. My business card? Listen, Your credit right. card. My credit card. <laughs> <laughs> the pin is zero 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 one because I'm number one. <laughs> God. Jesus. You know that song? <laughs> no. Uh. Listen, right. This is top secret information. You absolutely cannot leak this. Your pin? <laughs> you can't My tell notes. anyone. A special <laughs> investigations team has existed for a number of years, but few know of it. I, I understand. Their task is to find the owner of this card. A man called Shelley D. Killer. Oh? <laughs> oh? And just as his name states, he is a killer. An assassin. <laughs> The best of that. <laughs> An assassin? And as his first name states, he does love the beach. <laughs> assassin. <laughs> so who is this Shelly De Killer? De Killer is the name of a long-standing line of assassins. 
Do you think we could find him at Gordy Lake since he likes the beach? That's not really a beach. Well, but it's probably the closest <laughs> thing to a, it's the closest thing to a beach that we've seen. We're in wasn't there wasn't, wasn't one of the places at Gordy Lake like called Blank Beach? Or, like, oh yeah, Blank but it, there's no seashells there. Sea well, shells, not lake shells. God. I guess that's true. But I still think that the shore of a lake can be a beach. I stand by that. Honestly, every time you see a shell, it's a seashell, because you see it. Oh! What if you're blind? Then <laughs> you don't see it, Amy. <laughs> but then, are they, are they not seashells? No. They're just shells. Ever? They're, they're, they're no shells. seashells. What? Smell Damn shells. Thing. The name first appeared about 100 years ago, I hear. And it's been stupid ever since then. <laughs> <laughs> Shelly is the professional name of the third heir to the DeKiller name. Professional. So, heir to the DeKiller name. Jesus. So because his professional name is Shelly, he leaves cards with a shell on them. He has a habit of making sure to leave a card by the body of his victims. Maybe it's just, like Sheldon. Sheldon the Killer. Why would he do something like that? We think it is a part of his duty to his clients. His duty? If he... <laughs> <laughs> Fuck you guys. <laughs> I was like, someone else can. Make it I was better. thinking it. <laughs> I was like, I hope they don't. If he leaves a card, then his clients can be assured it was he who killed the victim. It also serves as insurance against any charges being pushed onto his clients. I see. The killer values the trust between his clients and himself above all else. It seems that this is one honorable assassin with a moral conscience. Well... Lawful evil, you might say. Yeah. I guess that even honorable assassins can exist. So, you think this assassin... You think he's the one who did the killing in this case? It would appear that way. The discovery of the card basically confirms it, wouldn't you agree? Shelly de Killer. Huh. <laughs> Doesn't have a ring to it. Never heard of it. Yeah, please tell him. I noticed something at the trial today. You were behaving in a very strange manner. Is something the matter? Ugh, he cares! Uh -oh. I guess I should just tell him. Maya, she's been kidnapped. K kidnapped? What does the kidnapper want? An acquittal. I see. I had no idea. Hmm. I will prepare a rescue team as soon as possible and resolve this by tomorrow. I mean, this shouldn't be his responsibility, but I'm still emotional. Really? Did you hear that, Mr. Nick? Mr. Edgeworth is going to- Stop trying to console me, Edgeworth. I don't need your pity. Oh, boy. Oh, my God. You little penis Phoenix, man. don't touch me, right? <laughs> Zuko vibes, honestly. Yeah. Yeah. It's okay to need help. Mr. Nick? Stop being a little wimp. There's no way you can find her. We don't even have a single lead to go on. Well. There's only one way to save her. I... I have to get an acquittal somehow. It's the only way. Right. Listen, you need to know something. Juan Corita was killed by Shelly the Killer. And the client who ordered the job... ...is Matt Ongard, your own client. 
please stop. I can't listen to you. I can't believe that. How does he know that? I see. Well, if you want to continue your investigation, you will need this. I had it on me. What is it? Inside it just says, like, I am right. <laughs> Signed, Edgeworth. <laughs> Love, Edgeworth. <laughs> the hotel right now is restricted to police personnel only, as we are looking for any clues that might lead us to Shelley to kill her. But if you take this with you to the hotel, I'm sure they will let you enter. Aww. In any case, I must attend to the preparations for Maya's rescue team. We'll meet again, if anything should happen. Now, if you'll excuse me. M Mr. Nick? Do you... do you think Mr. Ongard hired an assassin? No way! I mean, he doesn't have a psyche lock. Y yeah I guess not. Maya. Please, all I ask is you make it home, safe and sound. Oh my gosh, ominous. <laughs> <laughs>